Well, thank you so much for taking the time to tune into LBSO Live here in Las Vegas. We've got a great show for you tonight. You're going to go behind the scenes of the Las Vegas Symphony Orchestra. We're talking to the entertainers and the folks really running things behind the scenes. Trust me, it's a show you don't want to miss. Hi, I'm Faven Kay, and thank you so much for joining us on LVSO Live here in Las Vegas. Today, I'm joined by Sarah Cellobat Chaffee, and she, you guessed it, she plays the cello, of course, for the orchestra. And you're so amazing. Not only are you involved with LVSO, but you play with a lot of other bands. Before I get to that, I have to ask you, where did you get the nickname Cello Bat? How did that originate? Honestly, I wish I had a little bit better of an origin story. Um, obviously, the whole bat thing, like vampire and goth sort of um, community has always been my style. But uh, I like to joke that I'm called the cello bat because I'm mainly nocturnal and my eyesight is terrible. Oh, I like that. <laughs> yeah. I, that's, that's a great story. That's some strong contacts in right now. That's a great story. <laughs> what do you mean? And so tell me about some of the, you know, not only are you involved with the orchestra, but how you, how you roll here in Vegas. You do so much. <laughs> tell me about yourself. Uh, well, I first moved out here to play with an electric string quartet. That's what I got hired out here to do out of college. But since then, I have been a part of a whole lot of other different stuff. Um, I do play a lot of weddings around here with uh, Premier Wedding Music, nice. which is a really nice company. A lot of whose musicians also do play with the LVSO as well. And I play um, as part of the backup quartet for Aerosmith in their Deuces Are Wild residency. And I play with David Perico's Pop Strings Orchestra. <laughs> so you're involved with so many different projects and bands. Uh, do you have a specific genre of music that you prefer over another? Well, I know a lot of people would expect a cellist to say that they play classical music mainly. But that's not really the case with me. Honestly, I grew up playing classical and I do find it, it's almost kind of therapeutic to play classical sometimes because the way the pieces are set up, you know, everything is in its right place. Everything's laid out very well for the instrument. So it can be fun to do that. But mainly I like to play metal. Um, that's kind of my, my mainly what I listen to. So that's what I like to play also. It's fun with pop strings. I get to incorporate sometimes some metal songs into my solos throwing a little bit of Iron Man or whatever, so. No way. <laughs> I would never think cello with metal. And I'm sure, I mean, but I think that's the beauty of music, right? That you can do so much with it. Yes. Oh, I love that. Yeah. And now not only do you play the cello, but I understand that you write your own music, you compose your own charts. Tell me a little bit about that. Well, that all kind of started when I was in college. I went to a conservatory. I went to Cleveland Institute of Music and you know, everybody at a conservatory just wants to play classical music all the time. And so I was kind of one of the only people there who ever wanted to play anything besides that. And so as sort of an escape from classical life, I started writing arrangements for multiple cellos. And then I would record all the parts myself and make videos of them that I would put up on YouTube. And I was, I've always been very inspired. There's a metal cello quartet called Apocalyptica, and I love them. So um, some of the first songs that I ended up doing with my multi-tracking were metal songs. So I now have almost 300 arrangements up on Sheet Music Plus, and I regularly do custom commissions. Um, for example, for Premier Wedding Music, um, I just had a gig for them yesterday actually nice. where we premiered two of my new string duo charts which is okay. a lot of fun and now since covid i've been somehow i've been getting commission requests from other parts of the world too like i recently did a custom chart for a quartet in germany and so it's really cool to know that there's people so far away that world. have found me and have been impacted by what I do enough to want to hire me. I love so that. It's, it feels pretty amazing, honestly. Music just connects people in so many different ways, you know. It, it, it crosses all races, genders, you know, creeds, countries, obviously. Yeah. You're being contacted by <laughs> folks in Germany. When you're preparing for a show, what goes into that? How much time goes into preparing for a performance? Well, 
Usually I like to budget around two hours before I have to leave because um, one of the things that's really important to me is not just warming up on the instrument, but also just warming up my hands and my arms in other ways because mm. uh, repetitive stress injuries are a big issue with string players and that's wow. something that I have dealt with. So I have a number of exercises that I like to do um, that I've gotten from physical therapy. Wow. So I do budget about an hour for that and then about an hour for hair and makeup. <laughs> if you were to tell your younger self something that you could have done differently, <laughs> what would it be? Um, well, I would definitely tell myself that, you know, drinking a shot of fireball is not the same thing as warming up. <laughs> okay, noted. So I would definitely tell my younger self to be careful about the equipment that I use and uh, to pay attention to my body as far as if something doesn't feel right, wow. to be aware of that and to make the changes before it turns into something bigger. For someone that's Thank trying to get you. to where you are, what's the one word to them to tell them, uh, to motivate them to keep going? Oh, to motivate them. Um, I think it's important to find yourself and to find your own unique style and do play what you're passionate about. Find your niche. Like, don't think that just because you play a classical instrument that that means you have to play classical songs. You know, be open to taking new opportunities and maybe accepting a gig that you wouldn't have had the confidence in because when you open up to new opportunities, it gives you a chance to grow as a musician. So just take every opportunity you can, try out different things and find out what really works for you as your passion. I love that. Sarah, mm -hmm. thank you so much, folks. Sarah, cello bet, cello bet, Chaffee. <laughs> love it, has a ring to it. Thank you, much success, continued success to you, and thank you so much. <laughs> folks, you have just joined us for another episode of LVSO Live here in Las Vegas. We hope to see you for the next one. Well, thanks for joining us today on LVSO Live here in Las Vegas. If you like what you see, go ahead and drop us a comment down below. Like, share, and subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you here next time.